This is my Aermaki M346 of CM Models Italy. The color scheme is not scale, but it is a color scheme of the Israeli Air Force. They have painted other aircraft in that scheme, just not this airplane. This is the uh, demonstration version of the original Aermaki and I thought wouldn't it be brilliant to have these smokers on the model. That would look really great. At the last jet power here in uh, Germany I found this system by Gunther Zielke and I thought that's just right, let's do that. This system is G-force controlled, so when you take tight turns or tight loop, um, it goes on automatically and smokes. These are um, the smokers itself, and the problem with those is they get quite hot. So how to build rockets around them that don't melt? So it has to be heat-resistant material, and I decided to use carbon tubes. These carbon tubes are 30 mil in diameter, 0.5 mil in wall thickness, and I think that should work. So I started constructing it. What I wanted to do is I wanted to create something that uh, you can take off and put on very easily, very quickly, with just one bolt and automatic connector. So here you see the green things, these are multiplex connectors, and in the front you see that one bolt. I made the fins from carbon as well because on the inside here they are going to be holding the smoker and so they get quite hot and also serve as a way to deflect the heat away from the smokers. I'm going to use these silicon fuel lines to hold the smokers in effect and for them not to uh, go out of place I made little grooves like those so they should stay in place when I slide the smoker in. To keep uh, the fins in place, I created this little tool because obviously I want the fins to be exactly at 90 degrees and exactly all at the same distance from the center in these uh, grooves, in these slots here. The tubes are going to be painted later, so I sanded it before assembly, that's just easier. Here are some spaces to keep the smoker right smack in the center. And then some tape for more spacing, and as you can see, this way, when I slide the tube in, it should be, the fins should be exactly where they're supposed to be. Here's the tube inside, and I put the fins in and that little tool around it, and I'm measuring the distance, all oh, seems perfect. I use CA to fixate it, and later I epoxied them in. As a way to have cooling airflow through the system, I made these NACA openings by thermoforming plastic from the outside. I made this wooden template and put the plastic on the outside of the tube and with a heat gun heated it and then pressed it through to form this NACA opening and then epoxied it in from the inside. So it was made from the outside and then epoxied in from the inside. To make the rocket tips, I made wooden templates like this that I painted and sanded down and I formed them um, exactly from this picture. And I used a silicone form, I hadn't worked with silicone before and it works like a charm, really, really good. And that way I created tips that I laminated then that you can stick into the tube and they sit smack in the center. Really nice, look at that surface, worked out perfectly. Here now you see most of the elements ready for assembly. The rocket launchers are also made from carbon fiber. These are 20 mil square tube. I added some holes just to make the system lighter. The others are for mounting or fuel or cable lines. Here's what it looks like pre-assembled. The rocket launcher tips are made from wood that I primed. And you see the NACA opening here. And you see the two carbon rods here. And here in the drawing again, in the front, you see that one bolt and the carbon rods otherwise keep it perfectly in place. Here you can see from the backside. I spray painted the rocket and the launcher using exhaust paint that can withstand 650 centigrade of heat. Unfortunately, that turns out flat and the original is really more glossy. So I'm going to polish it and hopefully that is going to be better.
So let's look at the assembly. Here is the smoker. You can see the smoker with the valve, and it slides in from the back like that, sticking out a little bit in the rear, which is supposed to be that way. So that's where it's going to be sitting. This is where the fuel line, the oil line really, is going to exit the rocket. And here, the two cables for the uh, electric system, um, these cables, they're going to exit the rocket there and then enter the launcher there. So, and here, this is where the fuel line enters and then it's going to run to the f forward a little bit to exit on the top and into the wing. This is how you assemble it. It fits perfectly. Here you have the electric collector. It's a multiplex connector. And you stick it on like that. And then bolt it on with one bolt. I'm using these ultralight aluminum 3 mil bolts. Um, I'm trying to save weight wherever I can. After all, this whole system is going to add more than a kilogram of flying weight to it. One reason being the battery. It needs an 8S2500 milliampere hours of battery. So that's quite heavy. Plus oil that you obviously have to take along, plus those smokers that each weigh, I think, 120 grams or so. So hopefully it's still going to fly as beautifully as it has done before. So here a comparison with the original. I think it turned out quite nicely. I didn't add all the scale details, but I think it's nice. I'm going to try it out first. And then hopefully very soon I can show you these amazing pictures also of my model. Stay tuned. Thank you.